complex stasis chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens of these life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to a patient or incision, which is complicated.
a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul U. It was discovered in 20. Lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine U1 have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be... Uh, this is the audio log of Research Director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I have only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight.